What's up? Are you a business owner? Do you ever think about YouTube or Facebook or Instagram ads? If you're not running these ads, you probably have enough customers. And are those customers paying you for your full value, your potential of what your product or service is worth? If you don't understand Facebook and YouTube ads, if you've been the person who's tried those ads, and they haven't given you a positive ROI, you need to pay attention. I've run millions and millions of dollars in Facebook and YouTube ads. Why? Because they give a positive ROI when you hit the algorithm and you understand the simple tips, tools, and tricks to run these ads, to scale your business using what the algorithm is designed for. I'm making this video because number one, a lot of my buddies are in business. A lot of them are running ads and I like to pay attention to ads. I'm a student of advertising. I like to see what comes up on my feed and here's the pro tip. If you want to know how to build a winning ad, number one, type in what you're searching for. Obviously Google's going to track that. They're going to start sending you ads on maybe the product or service in your field and your niche. So that's step one. Go check out your competition. Most of your competition is going to show up on Facebook and Google and on YouTube if if at all uh, they're a player in the game. So go see what they're doing. Now here's, here's what's important. Anybody can create a Facebook ad, but does it work? How can you tell and get behind the scenes in the back end of that ad to see if it's actually converting for the company or the individual running that ad? Here's how you do it. You simply, I screenshot it. I screenshot it on my phone and I, and I want to see that ad come up again. As that ad continues to come up, of course, I've been tracked by this company. Now they're, they, they see that I'm interested and it's going to keep remarketing and retargeting to me, even sending me lower level in the funnel ads. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, pay attention, subscribe to Mike Quist right now because I am uh, going to give you it all for free. You know, you could buy this stuff. You could spend thousands of dollars hiring agencies. You can go through the pain points and the learning curve of understanding ads. You know, people overcomplicate the crap out of this. And I am not an academic. I, I'm uh, keep it simple, stupid. So, uh, I'm, and that's not negative self-talk. That's reality. I don't overcomplicate things. And I course correct very quickly, to, uh, taking in the data that's, that's come across my eyeballs. And so if you don't know what I'm talking about, listen to this video, but go back and listen to the other videos on this channel. And uh, you might see that there's massive potential that you're missing out on. So business owners, pay attention. Why do we run ads? We want more clients. We want higher rates. We want to book our schedule out. We want the security and the safety of knowing we're going to be employed three months from now, three years from now, you know, 30 days from now. Okay. Ads get you market share. You know, you used to run billboards. You used to go on, you know, uh, newspaper ads and magazines and TV. And, you know, these are a shotgun approach style ad. You're hoping that the people driving by on the freeway looking at your um, billboard are your customers. You know, that was expensive. A lot of people couldn't afford. That's why we see so many doggone, you know, uh, you know, prescription drug ads or lawyers. Like they can afford to run these billboards and these commercials. That's why you see that. Now with the new modern marketing tips, tools, and techniques, you can afford it. Why? You don't have to have a large budget, but you do have to have self-awareness. Let me tell you the number one reason that ads fail. Number one reason they fail is because the person creating the ad blames it on the algorithm. It's not the algorithm's fault. It's not Facebook and YouTube's fault. They're really good at actually finding customers for you. That's why those doggone social media platforms are worth what they're worth. And the whole reason they exist is not for your enjoyment to scroll and look at videos of cats playing with yarn. The whole reason that these social media platforms exist is to get advertising dollars. That is the number one reason that Google bought YouTube. That's the number one reason YouTube is the second largest search engine on the planet of Earth. This is the number one reason people uh, are, are paid to get you hooked on these social media platforms because they want to sell more advertising dollars. I don't want to rant. I want to get right to the meat and potatoes. The algorithms are designed for that. You got to have a good hook. Number one, first and foremost, People's attention span is tiny. 
Okay, uh, goldfish has a nine second attention span. People have uh, eight, seven, maybe even a six second attention span. Now we have less attention span than a doggone goldfish. Okay, so you need a good hook. What's a hook and how do you create a good hook? A hook is something that's gonna stop the scroll. I don't like pictures. I don't like an ad with an image and copy and then you expect somebody to read. They, they don't even read anymore. You got to have a hook and now people have the sound off on their phone. So you got to have subtitles that get the hook, get your message across. And what's the hook? It's solving a problem. The bigger problem that you solve, the more money that you get paid to solve it. People avoid problems. They avoid challenges. They avoid pitfalls. They avoid brick walls. But the fact of the matter is all those that you can overcome means you should get paid more for that. So solve big problems and get big paydays. Okay. Second, how do you create that hook? Find the problem and then offer the solution. And then when you're giving your ad, it's in that order. Problem, solution, problem, solution, problem, solution, how to order, problem, solution, testimonial, testimonial, how to order. Like you understand it's problem, solution. Here's the problem. Here's my solution. But you start, it's like the, it's like the, you know, the, the, the car ads, Monday, 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 you start with the biggest wow factor first what's the biggest thing you're solving what's the most pain that your potential customer feels and why are you the one to solve it for them when you solve big problems you know in my case uh i was able to save somebody 10 times their money when they wanted to remodel their countertops save them they've been looking at natural stone for years and i'm the answer that mrs diy has because mr husband of Mrs. DIY is like, don't spend the money. And she's like, I got an answer. I solved the problem. And I solved the problem of the learning curve because I offered a bunch of free content, a bunch of massively valuable content for free, which is what I'm giving you right now. I'm giving you, so if you like this, hit the like button. I guarantee you, if you pay attention to what I'm telling you in, you know, I got a list here. If you pay attention to what I'm telling you and you run ads, it can change your life. It did mine. And so that's why I'm sharing it with you. Um, second, you got to promise. I touched on this a little bit. You got to figure out what in your business does one of three things. It has to save somebody 10 times their money. Okay. In my case, Granite countertops were on average, let's just say three grand to four grand for an average kitchen. If my uh, product is three to $400 for an average kitchen, I just save them 10 times their money. Okay. Or second, 10 times their time. If it used to take, you know, two months from scheduling to install and I could get you the product in a week and, 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 and it takes you three days, you know, save them, you know, 10 times their time. Or you teach something or sell something that saves 10 times. Time is money, right? So you save them money, you save them time. Or number three, if your product or service makes somebody 10 times their money. Now, that's hard. That, that, that 10x is a difficult uh, metric to hit. However, anywhere between 1 and 10 will directly result of how how good and how effective your ad is. So maybe you can only save them two times their time or make them two times their money or, 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 or what have you. Maybe it's three or four, but the higher you get to that 10 X, because once you go beyond 10 X, they think you're full of it. And maybe you do go beyond 10 X, but trust me, keep it 10 X or under, try to hit 10 X and try to portray that as the solution to your first problem. Your big problem, the biggest problem you're solving is the hook and then comes the solution which is massively rewarding to the viewer and they're gonna stop scrolling and now they're gonna listen. Once you have attention, you see Gary Vee, he talks about he's, he's, uh, he's looking for the best spots. Where is the attention? When he was a kid, he used to go uh, to an intersection because he was gonna open a lemonade stand and he would sit there and he would scout the eyeballs of who's driving and where are they looking? Are they looking here? Are they looking there? Is the traffic mainly coming here? Where are the eyeballs going? Because that's where he's going to set his lemonade stand. Where is the underpriced attention? Now understand, 
everybody's talking about iOS updates and blames, you know, uh, all kinds of excuses on why Facebook algorithm isn't as good. The ads aren't as good. I, I, I personally hate Facebook. Uh, I, I, I don't, but, but they, they do work. And here's why their, their targeting has been affected, but targeting is overrated. What do I mean by targeting? It means you could put in a custom audience, you could put in the traits, you could put in what they're searching, you could put in, you know, their their income, you could put in is it male, female, you could put in the age group, you could put all this stuff in, which is why Zuck's always being uh, run across the barrel at, you know, Congress going, is this privacy issues? I, I, fine. I don't need targeting. Why? Because if you hit what I just said, the 10 X, if you hit the hook, if you, if you talk to the audience and tell them why they either need your product or service, or they would be doing whoever they tell about your product or service, a solid meaning let's say mom is watching an ad and it, and it, and it applies to Johnny, her son. Because Johnny sits on the couch and plays video games all day, but he needs to maybe possibly look at this to get him a job or to get him to make some money or to get him to uh, learn a trade or, or to get him to learn, you know, your course or whatever it is that you're selling. If you talk to the mom who's concerned about the kid and she refers her kid, her niece, her nephew, her grandpa, her gram, like you got to get people wanting to help other people. And when you have a good enough product or service and you portray that well, people want to help. Meaning it doesn't matter who sees your ad. They're going to get you targeted to the right people. And that's called a referral. That's old school referral. You see, when I was in sales going door to door, knocking on doors, maybe they didn't need my service. But by the end of the conversation, maybe they liked me enough to say, you know, I do know somebody who needs this and I really like you. You're an honest guy. You're, you've treated me well and you helped me carry in my packages or you took my trash out to the street because you're just a nice dude. So guys, get people to like you because you're likable, because it's genu you're genuinely cool. So get them to like you and they will refer you and target for you. But you have to prompt that in the ad. You got to explain that. Hey, if this isn't right for you, I know you're thinking of somebody right now. And this person needs this product or service. You can be the hero of the holidays. You can help take that job from honey do to honey done. Help me get right to the folks that need this product. Like think about how you can ask in a fun way for a referral. Okay. Finally, let's go. Uh, oh, this is good. I got a really, really good one at the bottom here. So hang on. All right. Oh, I can't even read my own writing. Ah, here we go. So this is called a marketing funnel. Let me explain. A funnel is a V-shaped, right? Up here at the top, it's a wide mouth. Okay, you got massive attention you're trying to bring in. And this attention can come from, it can come from organic uh, things that you put out, like organic videos. Have you noticed that Facebook, you know, years ago, Every one of your posts used to go out to all your friends. Now it's just targeted to a small group. And if, and if they engage with it, it goes out to a few other people. If they engage with it, it starts to pick up steam and more and more people see it. But the feeds were getting clogged of, you know, a lot of stuff that maybe people didn't want to see. So it got more difficult. Now think about, think about that. How can you reach people organically? It's difficult and it becomes more and more difficult the more a platform matures because basically your feed starts getting clogged with ads because that's what they're getting paid for. So join in on those ads. I wrote a book about this. It's called How I Made a Million Telling the Truth on YouTube. That's another story that gives a, uh, a really in-depth look and I'm not trying to sell you that book because honestly, I don't even get paid any money because I forgot what Amazon... Uh, account I put that in I, I don't even know where that goes I'm not trying to sell you that book but that's a good solid book you can get for free on Amazon Prime let me tell you this if you want to learn about a marketing funnel and how to get people funneled down onto your landing page and automate your leads automate your 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 appointment sets automate the way that you get out to the public you see I talk and I mentor a lot of small businesses 
And their biggest problem is usually sales, unfortunately. And if you're not making sales, it's, it's because you don't know how to get in front of enough customers. Um, your problem really should be how to fulfill the amount of sales you're making. That should be your problem because then it gets into logistics, it gets into bulk ordering, you get buying power, you grow, you have to scale, it's hard to find people. Like Your problem should be, I don't have enough resources to fulfill the amount of sales that I'm able to generate, so I need to walk my advertising back until we're right at that sweet spot and I could grow under control uh, while I, I, you know, I could stay ahead of a demand, but come on, if you don't have enough sales, it's because you're not marketing the right way. And if you want to learn how to market the right way, all the information's out there. And the, the, what I just gave you, you know, go, number one, go to your competition, look at the ad, see if that ad's still running a few weeks from now, six weeks from now. If it is, they're making money with the ad. It's converting a positive return on investment. So go scout your competition, learn what you like about their ads. You see, the biggest thing that I did that helped me in my ads, and this is going to sound silly because I'm a, I'm a Billy Mays fan. You remember Billy Mays from the 80s? I love this guy. I actually took his, his name, I typed it in YouTube, and I watched hundreds of his infomercials on YouTube archived because YouTube is not a social media platform. It's a social media library. It's evergreen. This is why I loved YouTube. I still do. I'm on it right now for you. Because five years from now, what I'm saying, because targeting, software, um, all, all of the, you're going to get, if you start running Facebook ads, you're going to get inundated with agencies trying to get you to hire them, with courses you're going to want to learn on Facebook marketing, with um, all these uh, complicated softwares that are going to help you. Like, you don't need it. Start simple. Keep it simple. Target to a very broad audience. Get underpriced attention because your audience is broad. Ask for referrals in the right way on that ad. Show the best wow factor of the problem solution you're solving. Stop like showing your logo first. Nobody cares about your logo. You got to be exciting. You got to have attention grabbing content. And it's not going to work the first time. You're going to you're going to be terrible at it the first time. But pay attention to what works and that's just by literally scouting who's running ads and look at them from other industries. You know, a lot of industries are more competitive than the one you're in right now. So go to the most competitive industries and see how they're converting their leads. Click on learn more. Go see what their landing pages look like. Are they overcomplicated? My next video, I'm probably going to do a video on how to convert from a landing page and what kind of a website to do that actually goes from marketing to a sale and how to grab that customer and make them feel like family and help them with their situation and continue to solve that problem. Because if you really solve that problem, you get an army of people talking about your product or service. Don't be, don't be fake in your product and service. Actually provide what it is you're promising and don't overpromise. Underpromise, overproduce. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this content. My name is Mike Quist. If you want to hear more of this, hit that like button. Comment below what you got biggest out of this video. Um, here, uh, there's the view right there. You can kind of see the ocean there in the background. I am remodeling this condo because uh, I do vacation rentals and Boy, have I learned how to use Airbnb and VRBO, and those algorithms are 10 times easier than YouTube. That's another video. Guys, until next time, remember, for my quest, you got this. I'll see you on the next video.